What is going on guys? It is Monstrato coming back to you yet with another video. Today we are going to be talking about some experiences that uh, we humans like to experience for, well, the experience of it basically. Uh, a good example is uh, basically like a uh, fine wine. You know, uh, if you're getting ready to drink a bottle of wine and some people just open up the bottle, pour it in the glass and just get right to, you know, drinking it and doing whatever, you know, after partying, you know, all that good stuff, hey. But if it is an exceptional bottle of wine or a rare bottle of wine, usually what you would do is that you would, you know, open the bottle and smell the aroma, pour it in the glass, you know, kind of switch push it around a little bit, maybe like taste it, and then after that, you know, find a good uh, cheese or something to go along with it, you know, it's it's your wine and it's just that rare and special. But also too, there are people that also like their cigars as well. Some people just go ahead and just, um, you know, light it up, start smoking it, but if it's a Cuban cigar or a very rare cigar, usually what they'll do is that they'll, you know, taste the cigar a little bit, maybe roll it around before they even and light it and then uh, you, you know just do certain things uh, with those experiences because they're special because again you know we as humans like to savor these experiences because they're you know an experience you know if it's something special or a special occasion we want it to actually mean something and go through the processes that we think are are you know uh, really special to do it right you know sophistication right and the same exact thing goes for me with uh, with rock concerts not just rock concerts but just concerts in general whether it's blues jazz rock a grunge, whatever it might be, whatever concert I'm going to be going to, I want to savor uh, that experience. That's why today we are going to be talking about the experiences of uh, large venues versus the, the smaller uh, venues when you go to a concert, no matter what that concert might be. And in my personal experience is that if you go to a concert and they're selling cotton candy up and down the hallways and you can get a, a hot dog for, you know, $20, I, I'm, I'm personally, I think that I'm in the wrong venue to experience that as an actual, you know, rock concert. And just for sake of argument, let's just say that it is a rock concert, okay? Because, I mean, I like rock, I like the experience of that, but let's just go ahead and take a look at it by the numbers, too, as well. Now, Red Hot Chili Peppers, for instance, they played, I believe it was like the Amway uh, Center, I think it's in Orlando, and uh, that place, I, I believe, seats about 20,000 people. I mean, it's a, it's a huge stadium, it's this huge Goliath stadium, and when you get tickets that are cheaper, and they tell you that you're in the nosebleed section, you are seriously in the nosebleed section. I mean, you almost need binoculars to be looking down at the stage, you're just so high up there. It's hard to really see anything. And that's versus the Hard Rock Cafe, which is also in Orlando, that seats 6,500 people. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a little less than half, but also, too, at the Hard Rock, you don't get anybody going around with the cotton candy sticks and the, you know, hot dogs with overpriced food. I mean, you just go back to the, you know, the bar, get your drink, whatever you want, and then the seats are a lot more comfortable. Like, I mean, no matter where you're sitting, even if you're in the nosebleeds, you can still see the stage pretty well. I mean, depending on who's sitting in front of you, because the venue is set up for that way. It's set up for hard rock, thus the name Hard Rock Cafe. Also, too, what matters, and that is a point, is the name and the, the legacy of what you're trying out. Like we were talking about the uh, the cigar, you know, everybody wants the uh, the Cuban cigars and kind of rub it in your face, too, you know, like, oh, this is a Cuban cigar. Like, oh, oh, man, that guy's fancy. That guy's a real deal. He's got a, he's got a Cuban cigar. And it's the exact same thing with a venue for a rock concert. You don't want to go to an Am Amway Center Arena and be like, oh yeah, I was at the Amway Center with like 20,000 people and I brought by binoculars, <laughs> by the way. If you say that you went to the Hard Rock Cafe, people know what you're talking about. You know, there are, uh, the legacy is already built at the Hard Rock Cafe because it's a global standard 
for rock enthusiasts, also the, the performers too as well. I mean, there are countless of, of rock and roll stars that have been a part of the Hard Rock Cafe for many years, and they love playing there. It's because of the history and the experiences that have already happened there. Or you can say, well, you know, I saw it at the, you know, Amway Center or, you know, whatever center, whatever arena you might be at. But, you know, it's also known for, you know, playing basketball or hockey or whatever the case may be or whatever sport. But if you tell your friends, hey, I went to the Hard Rock Cafe, everybody knows and can put that in the same light, the same conjunction with the same history of what you've already uh, went to and what it was for. No, I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with going to the big arenas because sometimes the big arenas are the only way to see somebody, you know, like a band play. But if you do have the choice of a large arena or a smaller venue such as the Hard Rock Cafe, I highly suggest the Hard Rock Cafe because it's got the experience, uh, it's got the history, uh, people love it, and people can also relate to it right off the bat, thus the name Hard Rock. And also, too, added upon those lines is that uh, you can actually yell out Free Bird, and a lot more people are going to hear you. So I guess this kind of wraps it up. Uh, just a quick video. I know I haven't been with you guys for uh, quite some time, but I have been busy both in life and make-believe. <laughs> here on YouTube too as well um, but uh, go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it I am hoping to come out with uh, more videos uh, lately recently and to keep uploading too as well again I apologize that I haven't been around but I have actually been working on some music that I am about to release so you know just like other youtubers don't forget to subscribe yada 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 this video is brought to you by I don't know freaking you know poison drink it you know I so keep doing what you're doing don't let anybody tell you different and if you are going to a venue for hard rock then remember the name it's all the same in the name go to the hard rock